Welcome back, everybody. I hope that you have been having a wonderful time of life, whatever it is that you've been up to. This is my weekly video series, and this week I am doing a video blog. And as you have guessed from the title, this is about how I stay positive and happy all of the time. I'll tell you the secret. It's really simple. I don't. I don't. This is, it's amazing to me how many people write to me on Twitter and on email and on Facebook and comment and are like, wow, you're just so positive all the time and you're so happy and all the time. And, and, I, and I have to say that I'm not. I really am not. I have major challenges when it comes to feeling good about myself a lot of the time. I come from a background where at, at school, especially as a younger person, I was one of the outcasts. I was one of the kids that wasn't cool. I was told a lot that I was wrong and that I was not good enough. And all of those kind of that feedback went deep into me and had a really powerful impact on my perception of myself. So honestly, I spend a lot of time struggling just to get out of bed. So I guess my secret is that I try to let it all pass through. You know, they say that that saying this too shall pass. And it's easy to say, but it's also true. Everything will pass. The happiness you feel, the sadness you feel, the anger, the loss, the gain, the love, the dog. It's all going to pass. All of it. And so this is what the teachings of across the world have given to us is that if we can just let go of everything, if we can really experience it and really feel it and be completely engaged and present with the experience of whatever we're going through, but then also let it go. That's the key to not just happiness, but contentment, to acceptance, to a sort of sense of rightness with the world. And it's interesting for me to be creating this video today because I've been really emotionally challenged the last few days. I've been struggling. I've been struggling a lot. Getting out of bed this morning was really difficult for me. I, I posted about it. I posted a little Instagram just telling people. And I, the reason I do things like that is because social media gives us, us this idea that everything is good. Everything's awesome. Everyone else is having the best life possible. I really find so much that when I, when I go online and I just like scroll through Facebook, I get a lot of feelings of jealousy and envy at times because it looks like everyone is having the most beautiful lives imaginable. And I think like, what's wrong with me? Why aren't I having that amazing life as well? And, you know, then have to realize like they're just posting that certain part and that's what I get to see. I don't get to see the struggle and the challenge and the, the intensity that they go through as well. So... I guess that's my secret is that how do I stay happy and positive all the time? I just don't. And I accept myself in that as much as possible. So I accept myself when I'm lying in bed going, I'm a terrible person. Everything sucks. I don't want to do this. Why? Why me? Why me? When I'm doing that, I'm like, that's where I am right now. I accept that aspect of myself because it is an authentic part of me. So that's all I have to say on that one. I hope that you enjoyed. It's a simple little thing. And, and I know it's, it's weird, but it, it helps. It really helps. Just accept everything. Let it all go. Let it flow. Feel it deeply. Express it truly and allow everything to move up and through. Uh, so next week I am doing an original song which is actually about one of the people who has helped me the most in my life to accept myself and that is my sister Lucinda who now lives in California with her magical husband and their family and she was one of the first people I felt that ever really heard me as an honest, she just accepted me just 100% as I am. And she really taught me a lot about trust and about my own value. And to see, to see myself in her eyes, to look at her and see the reflection of so much love and so much faith has always been a huge support for me in my, my whole life. So I dedicate next week's song. It's called Oh My Good Friend. And it is my newest song. I haven't really shared it much with anyone other than my patrons. If you aren't yet a patron, become one now. Support my art. It helps. Please pledge on Patreon. The link will be in the description below. And thank you to those who are already patrons. You know who you are. I love you guys so much. Thank you for believing in me, even when I forget to believe in myself. I will see you all next week for next video, which is Oh My Good Friend, dedicated to my little sister, Lucinda. I wish you all well, and may the feelings that you have pass through you cleanly. <laughs> Farewell. Oh my good friend, oh my good friend, our road leads ever.